Hello guys, here we have the latest television uh, from Philips, it's the flagship of the company, it's 4K OLED Plus, featuring the new panel, the bright OLED Meta Panel, which is, makes this television supreme, extremely good, so we're doing the un unboxing here, one person can do this, removing the box, OLED Plus says outside the box, so carefully we remove the cover of the box and then it's uh, very easy to install the stand and uh, start the television. This TV has uh, IMAX enhanced, has all the HDR systems, uh, it's gaming already. For example, plays uh, VRR, G-Sync, FreeSync, everything. It's a Google TV. Here we see the the inputs here we can plug our gaming consoles has subwoofer output as you can see there so there are other inputs on the other side this on the back we have the subwoofer and uh, we can connect ethernet or uh, optical cable this is the emergency button in case that we lose the lost the, our remote control this is are the leds for the abbey light they are in three sides of the televisions, of the television, these uh, LEDs on the, and this is the totally new remote control, rechargeable battery with uh, USB-C, backlit the buttons, so how we charge the battery, it's very neat, it's very useful and very convenient, this uh, new remote control for Philips, so first time we see this remote control here, and now it's time to install the stand. It's a very durable stand, has a elastic pads underneath in order to, to be stable on the table. And so you can uh, rotate the TV. It's very convenient, this as well. So after some screws, we reach this level and then uh, we, we have to do one more step to plug the TV set on the stand like this. Four screws there, and we're ready. Then we put the cover that uh, serves as a cable management system as well. Here is the stand. Barros and Wilkins is the audio system of this television. Television Philips. Underneath there is a cloth that covers the speakers. Goes all the way. It's like sound bar. Looks like sound bar. And here is at the edge. So on the back we see the LEDs for the up light. We see the how they sign and they are very advanced this time. There are sensors there that are measuring our room in order to provide extra experience, let's say, compared to the previous models. Not only taking care of the image, but the light of your uh, room. Here we're ready to start playing with the television. But before we are taking a look inside, it's not uh, that uh, something secret. All the televisions are easy to open the back cover. Here we see the power supply, the driver for the, for the panel and the processors. So three main uh, boards, let's say. This is the power supply. This is the processor and the inputs and the outputs. Here we see the other side of the inputs. And here, this is the driver for the panel. So the uh, switching power supply takes a lot of uh, space inside the television because we need a certain levels of voltage for uh, every stage here. This is the LEDs, Abilai TV on the back. The speaker, so the speaker has two mid woofers and uh, one tweeter. So there are three speakers in front of the television that fire and talk words to the listening position. Three speakers, uh, and the tweeter is in different position. If you see, this is the central speaker, the tweeter, uh, tweeter is in the center. This is the other side of the speaker, uh, the other speaker, the tweeter is, is total, you know, on the side and the center speaker 
So we have three speakers with its own cabinets, let's say, from Barus Agulkic, very well manufactured. And this is the subwoofer with two base reflectors there. So it's an independent cabinet as well, this one. So Philips uh, has taken good care here for the sound. Performs very well. We test it and we know that it's... This is the class D amplification for the speakers. For these four speakers, let's say. Here it drives the power. And the black uh, metal there is the heatsink for the processor. This is the RGB, let's say, sensor that measures the brightness and the colors, the color temperature of our room. Here is the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi board and the driving of the Abbey Light. Here is the tuner. You see how small it has become. And underneath this black uh, heatsink is the MediaTek ARM processor there. Heat. And here we are taking some uh, look of the hardware uh, TV set. Uh, we are using a microscope here to see the the pattern of the pixels, Google TV as we said. In every country is different the Google TV, it's not the same, it depends. Some countries, uh, countries they have the full version of the Google TV, others not. So we have new menus this time from Philips, we have not just the Google TV menus, we have menus very well organized, better than the previous time. Here we're checking the panning. TV is extremely good, guys. It's one of the top uh, TVs now on the market. Can beat uh, anyone, any TV here. We're checking the, uh, TV, the gaming features. It's Everything is checked, even Dolby Vision for gaming checked. VRR, ALM, ALLM, everything is checked here. All the HDR formats are covered. So no worries about the gaming even has special uh, menu, this one's uh, dashboard and settings that we can enable and uh, appear appears during the gaming in order to to set up or to control our uh, entertainment. 120Hz 4K for sure, this is uh, nothing now, uh, all TVs are receiving, but this one has extra features for gaming. Blacks are extremely good. The brightness is very high, high cause of the panel. This meta mi micro lens uh, panel, almost 2000 nits, guys. It's very good, this TV. You're gonna love it if you see it. As we said, uh, the menus are Brand new here, you see crystal clear home cinema, there is a lot of uh, AI picture styles here to select, filmmakers mode, so the, if we need a calibration it's not uh, a problem, your TV provides all the settings to, to achieve the best quality of picture quality, auto film mode, home theater, Dolby Vision, bright, you see here how many Kalman if you have the proper instruments to calibrate it, crystal clear. So it's uh, very detailed and very right to the point television. Here we see dark details, color temperature optimizations. Uh, more settings has a lot of, uh, you know, things to play around. Contrast, you see, if you, you have four uh, sec sections to control the contrast. So there is no, no need for uh, anything else. I mean, uh, Philips achieve, achieved the ultimate uh, level of picture quality here. Light boost, medium or minimum. So I like these new menus from Philips. They are right to the point. dynamic enhancement level. Colors, you can control uh, to adjust it. 
analytically two white points, 20 white points alignment. So here we are talking about a premium TV set, guys, a premium one. A lot of things to play around with the motion, the blur, to make it extremely good according to your needs or favorites or demands. So it's a Google TV as you can see. has AI features here to make it to make the picture quality and the sound as well in high level I like the fact this uh, that this TV is uh, compatible compatible with DTS Play Fi if you have these wireless speakers you can connect them it's very convenient and very good provides ex ex extra sound uh, quality even though TV plays very good as is with these Bowers and Wilkins speakers. Different uh, other settings here for the panel. Sound, you see how many modes and styles. You have uh, EQ modes here for the sound. Nothing is missing, I think. Philips uh, worked very hard to bring this TV set out. It's uh, it was not in a rush to bring it, you know, springtime or March uh, time as all the manufacturers are doing, but Philips work a lot, waiting to mature the technology to be right to the point. And when the technology was uh, was in high level, Philips announced and uh, manufactured this television, released it on the market. Two months ago but now I think it's the best for 2023 and 2024 this TV will last at 12 more more months on the market you see the stand thanks for watching guys that's all